In our tech careers, we are so focused on getting the job. Whether that's our first ever role, or a career change, or a promotion, our minds are always focused on getting that next job. Today, I'm gonna to be speaking about what it's like after you get the job. And I'll be speaking about my first ever cloud role as an Azure administrator, and also about my current role as a cloud security engineer. Please enjoy this video. What's up guys, welcome to the channel. And today, let's talk about tech life after you got the job. In recent years and my recent career, I've had two cloud roles. My first one was working as an Azure administrator, and my second and current one is working as a cloud security engineer. And between these two roles, the transition and induction period of starting these roles has been very different. And this is not just a result of the role itself, but more a result of the companies that I'm working for. Let's start by talking about my first role as an Azure administrator. Now, the company I worked for was described as an MSP, which is a managed service provider. So this is essentially a company which provides IT services for other companies. And so this company was a small, medium, probably small company, about 60 people, which provided services for other small and medium sized companies in different forms. And so my first week in this role was of course, nice and slow. And I started this role by going through some training, um, going through the different software and portals that I had to use during my role. And this first week was quite slow. I had a few introductions to members of the team. By the second week working in this company, I was put onto a cybersecurity project. Well, I was an Azure administrator, but in a small company like this, being involved in other projects to do with other things is quite likely. I was put onto a cybersecurity project that needed a lot of extra hands. And of course, being new to this role, I was happy to do it. This was a project where a client had been hacked and the network was completely down. And I joined a team where we had to basically rebuild the whole network for this company. I was very hands-on in just my second week. This was on site, so I was going into that office every day, dealing with things, rebuilding devices and that sort of thing. This project was quite intense and included a lot of overtime. So I was working overtime in my second week for this company and this project lasted for about two and a half weeks working at this company. So from what I've said already, you can already understand that this was a very full on job. And in my first few weeks after getting the job, I was straight into the work and thrown into the deep end. Part of my role working on this project was getting stuck into rebuilding devices, receiving instruction from the higher engineers on what to do with networks, ports to plug in and that sort of thing. The project finally ended after about two and a half weeks and I was exhausted. This project also involved working two Saturdays. So you can imagine working in a new role and immediately in the second week and third week of work, you're already working weekends. I was then involved in a lot of other very interesting, very engaging projects. Working with things like device joining, MFA configuration and setup for different companies, Intune configuration, and the setup of Azure virtual machines for different companies. And as you can tell by my description, the job was very full on in my first few weeks working there, but it was also very engaging and I learned a lot immediately. And although there was a lot of pressure, I was quickly able to understand things and develop as an engineer. It was a sink or swim situation. Luckily, with a lot of stress, I was able to swim. Now let's talk about my role as a cloud security engineer and how this differed from my Azure administrator role. Life after the job as a cloud security engineer was very different. I moved on into a large financial institution, which was very big, very corporate, and had many engineers working in many different teams. And my first month working at the company involved setting myself up on different systems and different software. It involved lots and lots of training to understand the company and how to work in that company and the different areas which I need to know before being able to make any configurations or do any real work. I had to go through training to really understand how things work. Once I'd gone through some good training, I then began to shadow a few individuals in the team and they began to show me a lot more about, you know, how things work and train me up to understand better. 
I was also involved in a lot of meetings and for the most part in my first month, since I didn't really know much about the company, I would just sit in the meetings quiet and more listen to what's going on and what people were doing. Because of course, I was new and I had no idea what was actually going on. And finally, my role in that first month involved a bit of research and documentation on different cloud security tools and how they could be used in the company. I had opportunities to present my findings to different members of the team and present my findings to the larger team as a group also. As you can tell by my description, after getting the job in this cloud security engineer role, I was eased in, I was trained, and the company was ready to make sure that I was fully equipped to understand what I was working on and how to work in this environment. So big differences with tech life after I get the job between these two roles, one was so full on and so in the deep end, the other was really quite slow and nurturing and training you up to make sure you're equipped. And I wouldn't say neither of these is the ideal or better than the other, but it really depends on the person and the needs of the person that is working in these roles. And so if you're currently working in tech, please leave a comment in the comment section and tell us about your experience, your tech life after getting the job. Tell us how you were introduced into your first few weeks working at your current company and tell us whether you think that stage was beneficial for you working in that company, whether that was to equip you or whether that helped you in your career. And also tell us if it didn't. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to follow me on LinkedIn and Instagram. Like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.